What is good, you beautiful ladies and gentlemen on YouTube? Welcome back to the Fox's Den. Getting into another reaction. Oh, we got an amazing episode of One Piece to get into, baby. Oh my God. They took a break last week. Okay, there was no episode last week, which I wasn't too, you know, dissatisfied with or anything. I was like, okay, well, that's one last reaction off my plate that I have to do for the weekend. And I still had solo leveling and Mashable to watch. So I was like, okay, that's fine. And then this week we had a break from Mashal and we had solo leveling in one piece. Oh, dude, I, I, we haven't even gotten to the episode yet, but I'm so fucking excited because you know what we left off from last episode. Last episode was really good. We saw some of the first uh, reveals of Bonnie's father being Kuma, uh, her reaction to seeing, you know, him, but, you know, uh, obviously a copy of him, uh, one of the cyborgs or as you would call it pacifista, but on this case on Egghead, it's just kind of like a police force that is, you know, uh, I'm, I'm sure multiple of them that keeps, the, you know, kind of like not governs the island, but keeps everything safe and whatnot. And they didn't know any better, but they died and dashed and they stole some clothes. So this is why they're ch the, the, the Kuma, the, the pacifista or the police force, whatever is chasing after them right now. And that's what's got them in that predicament. And then, because of Bonnie's reaction and her actually revealing this information for the first time by actually saying it, we see Luffy's and Chopper's and Jinbei's reaction like, what? That's your father? And, and you know, she's breaking down because obviously this is very important to her and she loves her father very much and is really the reason why she's come to talk to, uh, to Vegapunk in the first place or, you know, confront him about whatever the fuck that he did to uh, Kuma and, uh, you know, Depending on what his answer is, that's what she said. She she might kill him. Uh, so this is very. She's very very passionate about this. And you can see like just from her breaking down, like how important this is to her. And like, you know, I mean, come on. Like the her father has been a, a government tool for a while now. We just didn't know that that was her father. And so if you were in her shoes, I mean, bro, like we haven't even scratched the fucking surface with that. And the rest of this arc. I mean, uh, bro, it's, I, I'm not even gonna get into it, but it's gonna get fucking crazy. And I can't wait for the rest of the backstory and all that stuff. It's gonna be a, a crazy ride, just let me tell you that. But where we left off of at the end of last episode, we saw Law and his crew pulling up to some place, which is wherever they decided to go and which direction they went, leaving Wano. And guess who's fucking coming right at them? Blackbeard and his fucking crew. And Law said himself, he's like, yo, we've never run before, but even with something this big in front of us, an enemy this fucking insane, we are not running. So they are ready for full fucking force, full action. We're gonna, we're pulling up and they're heading right towards each other. And that's pretty much where the episode ended. So if, I guess, you know what I'm saying? Like last last week we had a break. They've been preparing for this episode. This episode is probably going to be fucking absolutely insane. Like absolute gas, which I'm I'm so excited for because yesterday we had solo leveling episode six, which was also absolute fucking gas. It's been going crazy on the YouTube. Thank you so much for the love. If you are watching this reaction, you also watch my solo leveling reactions. Thank you so much. The full video on the YouTube is doing great. It's almost at like 500 views already in just under 24 hours. And then also the clips that I've posted on my respective social media, TikTok, it's going crazy, almost at 15K views. Uh, shorts, it's already, you know, oh, that, that same clip or a little bit of a shorter version of that clip. It's already at like 2.5K. So everybody's loving that. And I'm so glad that that's doing well because it deserves it. Like that fucking episode went in and uh i enjoyed it thoroughly and now we get to experience even more fucking gas today with one piece i, I i'm so excited so without further ado let's get into the reaction if you guys enjoy it please leave a like down below comment subscribe for new and hit that notification bell so you know the next one's dropping let's get into it one piece episode 1093 Whew, i'm so excited <laughs> Our prey, yeah? Oh, shit, dude. Like I thought, we get right into this shit, bro. Yo, this episode is about to be insane. Look, there's a versus in the title. The winner takes all. Law versus Blackbeard. Nah, I'm... I, it's up today. It's fucking up. 
Nah! I'm fuck yo, nah! This weekend has been fucking amazing. Bro, now the hockey already. Holy shit. We're diving. We gotta- our boat is a submarine. Don't even trip. Oh, he whipping that hoe. Bro, Blackbeard's ship looks insane. Oh! Wow! Remember I was talking about the past couple episodes in my- in my discussions? Like, we've never really seen him use hockey. Well, guess I was fucking wrong. This man's... Yeah, he got some hockey, bro. God damn. He's just so OP, I guess he just hardly ever has to use it. He can just get away with using his devil fruit. But combining his devil fruit powers... ...with... ...hockey? Like, nah, he's insane. Blackbeard is ridiculous. It's fucking ridiculous. What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> Kawaii! Kawaii! <laughs> Bro, everybody growing a pair of tits, bro. What's going on? This is so trolly. Whose power is this? I can't remember. <laughs> the way he's fucking powering up to get rid of this transformation. Get these titties off of me! <laughs> Yo. I turned back! <laughs> Yo, what a trolley start, holy fuck. Oh my god. Aye aye, Captain! Let's go! Mm. So it was his- it's his power? Feminization disease. Sick sick fruit. So he just- wait, so wait. Sick sick fruit, it's not like... Specifically that feminization disease or whatever, so he can do- he can create diseases? Is that correct? That shit's- that's insane. Yo, animation already looks crazy. For just some of these simple moments. Bro! What are you, fucking Goku? Nah, bruh. Yo. The amount they just zoomed out? Bro, yeah, dude. Because of Blackbeard's power itself, like, he's able to just fucking stack his crew with insane devil fruits, dude. <laughs> you guys better fucking move. Well, Law can just move everybody. Yeah, room. Or move the mountain itself. Oh no, he gonna cut that bitch up. Right, yeah, he already put in a lot of work. Just to get, just to counteract the disease and to fucking attack that mountain. Nah, this is insane. <laughs> Look at the fucking donkey struggling, dude. Horse or fr horse, horse fruit? Damn right it has. He's loving it. He's like, I'm down for a new era too, baby. He's talking about the road poneglyphs. Yeah, oh my fucking god. Yo, no, this is so wet! Nah, I'm fucking up today. I'm up. The winner takes all! The episode title, baby.
Oh, dude, halfway screen already? It's still early in the episode. That means whatever's after this is just fucking heat. Straight heat. Oh, baby. And think about it. Any any one of those crews could have ended up fucking here, bro. Like, they literally just did, like, what, what was it? Fucking pulled straws or some shit, and that's how they chose directions? That frame looks insane. We're gonna have a lot of choices for thumbnails this episode. Let me tell you, bro. Oh my god. Yo, nah. The animation, animation looking crazy. Let's go, Law. Let's go. Yo, nah, the anim- Nah. Holy fuck. God, nah. Damn. No more flying. Bro, I like can't breathe right now. Look at this shit. This is nah. It's, bro, there's bad thing. They're giving they're giving the same treatment to this fucking fight as like any of the fights we saw before. Kaido, King, Zoro, Luffy, bro. Look at this shit. All right, yeah, guys, just stand corrected. Blackbeard can use fucking hockey and shit. Look at, bro, nah, 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 nah. Bro, I have fucking goosebumps, dude. Bro. He was a good guy. No, he's not dead, yeah. That's Law's technique. The hell are these? They look like just apples, but they're definitely not just fucking apples. Exploding? Oh, shit. Is he gonna encapsulate all of them? No, he's just gonna trigger them in the air. Those are some dangerous fucking apples, bruh. <laughs> Is that it? This man's dude can't stop laughing. Uh oh. Sniper alert. Sniper alert. Damn! He ate that shit! Oh, of course. Oh, Anastasia! Damn! There we go! It's not supposed to, buddy. Now it will. Doing all right so far? Doing all right? Oh, shit. Right in front of each other. Nah, that shit is so fucking lit. <laughs> fucking Peppo, dude. Hey, literally every single one of them. We haven't even seen all of them yet. There's only- we've only been dealing with three of them. Or four of them, including Burgess in the beginning. Damn right they are, motherfucker! I think this is the first time we've seen them, seen Law's crew active like this, too. Like what some of the other members can do underwater. I'm not surprised, though, dude. Being a submarine and shit? Good fucking hit, man. Is that who I think it is? In the- in the cell? Is that pudding? 
It is. Yeah, what the fuck is she doing here? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. So this is how she was captured. Oh my god. Yeah, nah, you all are uh, outmatched, dude. Damn! Sharpshooter, bro. Oh my goodness. So much fear of crackers. <laughs> oh, that looks... No, nah, it looks so fucking cold. No pun intended. Oh my god. Nah, to your knees. To your knees. Oh, dude, this being animated, like, we're still so early and... Uh, it's just reminding me, bro. Oda is cooking. I can't take this shit. I can't take this shit. I can't take this shit. What's he doing there? What's he doing there, man? <laughs> uh, that man's Alkaji, bro. Oh, dude. Oh, there's so much. There's so much. Oh, shit. Back to the real fucking fight. This animation is insane. This episode is fucking filthy, man. This shit is amazing. With his other hand, he's gonna use his main devil fruit. Yep. This is why he's so fucking OP, bro. He's so OP. Like how I like how when you use the black vortex, his, his dark dark fruit, everything went black and white. This shit is fucking peak. Completely black. Oh, oh my god, it ends there. Oh no. That episode felt so fast, bro. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Nah, that shit, bro. Didn't I tell y'all? Didn't I fucking tell y'all we eaten? Buckle the fuck up. I said that, right? Well. <laughs> No, yo, no, no, no. Oh, dude, that was so fucking gas. I'm at a loss for words right now. I need a fucking moment to gather myself. Holy shit. Alrighty, guys. What an absolutely spectacular fucking episode of One Piece. Now we see why we they took a fucking break last week. Holy shit, dude. This weekend was stacked, and we didn't even have an episode of Mashable to watch because they took a break. And I was just speculating. I don't know if this is true or not, but just from like what I think, A1 Studios is doing both Mashal and Solo Leveling. So maybe they took a break because of this gas ass episode that we just got yesterday of Solo Leveling. Maybe. Maybe that's why they took a break uh, on Mashal. Uh, but if not, then, you know, maybe it was just like just part of their schedule. Like, it was just already planned. I don't know. Um, but that's one thing that came to mind because I forget, but th that studio is doing both of those shows. And they're killing both of them. It's amazing. And then we had a break last week from One Piece and get this fucking episode this week. And, you know, a nice two weeks to fucking really polish this shit up. And for good reason. That shit looked amazing, bro. Like, dude, they were giving that treatment the same as any of those fights we saw in Wano. Like, oh, dude. Bro. I, didn't, I wasn't even paying attention because I haven't seen that animation in a while since Wano. There's probably a good amount of fucking impact frames that I didn't even fucking notice. Like, they, they love that shit. They love putting some nice fucking impact frames in there for us. So I'm going to have to, I'll probably be more looking out for that and paying attention to it when I edit this. But God damn, did this episode look fucking amazing, bro. The animation was top tier, as usual for any of these big fights recently in One Piece. Like, they just, they go all in, literally all in. Uh, and it's not even over yet. That was, that was just a fucking start. 
as you can see, because like that episode went by so fast, I was not expecting it to end right there. So we're not even done with this fight yet. And we see we saw a lot. Like we saw the beginning of it, Burgess throwing that fucking mountain, you know, uh Blackbeard actually showing that he can use hockey. I don't know if he's shown it that he can use it before. Because I've talked about it in my uh, discussions multiple times in the past couple reactions, like especially when we saw him on the uh, All Girl Island, Empress Island, or whatever, where Boa and them are. Whenever he kidnapped fucking Kobe and that whole situation, like we didn't really see him use much hockey there. But I think there was maybe little instances of it. Like I think somebody commented on that reaction in particular whenever we first saw the uh, reveal of the Seraphims and he used arm armament hockey for a second so he does know how to use it it just seems like he barely has to most of the time because his devil fruit powers are just that op he has a, his original devil fruit which he can steal other devil fruits with have multiple devil fruits and and assign those to people too if he wanted to as he sees fit like that is fucking op so with good reason it, it seems that you know he's just that overpowered that he doesn't need to use hockey sometimes like he doesn't see the need for it but of course if he's going up against like the top of the top opponents that use hockey on a regular basis then like yeah he can pull it the fuck out on top of his op fucking devil fruits but yeah it's it's fucking ridiculous so we sit we saw the beginning of the fight him starting to use some hockey berg is throwing that mountain uh the sniper getting involved a little bit also in the very beginning that very trolly uh disease that the sick sick fruit guy implemented on the crew for a hot second uh where they all started to turn into women that was fucking hilarious and, and <laughs> law was like powering up and he figured out that he could like disable this or like revert it from like his fights in wano and, and it, it seemed like he was like going super saiyan or powering up you know what i'm saying like get these fucking tits off me like yo nah that shit was just comedy bro what a trolley start and it was so funny and then it from there it's just straight fucking action dude the animation looked amazing uh the the, the couple frames that we saw of blackbeard when he was up in this up in the air still uh i mean uh, the use of his devil for powers combined with the hockey and like how much of like the impact of those blows traded with each other between law and and uh blackbeard like the water expanding and dude it, it it's literally fucking crazy and we're also seeing a little bit more of law's crew in action and what they're capable of more than we've really seen before and it seems that they're really really capable underwater like in the sea because law i think is the only one or maybe beppo is also a double fruit user since he's a bear or whatever i, I don't know i can't remember but Law is like one of the only ones on his crew that has a devil fruit. Like most of his crew are, don't have devil fruit powers. So you're seeing them like how they're really capable underwater, especially like two people that were like swimming around a shit ton, attacking their ship as, as well as the submarine, whoever was still, uh, you know, um, steering the submarine and using the torpedoes that they have to attack Blackbeard's ship. I mean, uh, just absolutely fucking stunning seeing the, the, his, more of his crew in action. And then also really him, Law, pulling out most of his cards without hesitation because he knows who he's up against. Like using cro Chrome Anesthesia, using Reroom and, and fucking Amputate. Like it looked, and it looked stunning, bro. Yo, nah, like this is exactly why they took a break. Like this, this is the type of shit that they take breaks for and it's fucking worth it every time because the episode comes out fucking immaculate. I mean, God damn. And then, and then we uh, see that Pudding is actually held captive on Blackbeard's ship. And we see a little cutaway of how that happened. And, you know, the two people from Blackbeard's crew, you know, that invaded Coco Island, where Pudding resided. And this one um, fellow cracker or whatever that tried to defend as best he could. And... Didn't stand a fucking chance. The sniper and Alkuji, as we can see, that's just, this is another big reveal. It seems Alkuji is working along Black, alongside Blackbeard. You know, that's very intriguing. Why the fuck is he there? Why is he doing this? This man used to be a fucking admiral, and now he's doing shit with Blackbeard? Like, that's a crazy switch up. So, can't wait for more of that info, which is going to be very, very uh, enticing, which for a good reason i mean this dude used to be an admiral and now he's with fucking blackbeard like what's going on there there's no way like like how did that switch up happen that's a crazy switch up that 
the info on that is is going to be detrimental like i know anime onlys are inch, are itching for that especially after this episode getting that reveal so that's going to be very very uh, exciting once we do get that info and i i remember reading and i was like yo this is fucking wild this is insane so we get that reveal seeing how pudding got uh, captured and uh you know obviously them going back and forth as well about like big mom being defeated and how you know this is a new era you know blackbeard is just as excited about this new era like he, he didn't think they were gonna go down but they are and he's like i couldn't be fucking happier i'm part of the worst generation too you know i mean fucking ridiculous like the whole episode it was it was it was gas start to finish start to fucking finish and that's pretty much, I think, all we got was mainly this fight between Law and Blackbeard and his crew starting. A little bit of that backstory on how Pudding got captured. What's the Fleet Admiral's name? Why am I fucking, uh, why am I fucking blanking on it? Akainu. Yeah, I don't know why I was blanking on his name, but Akainu, seeing his uh, reaction to hearing about this confrontation between the two and him being frustrated as usual, like, it's tough being the Fleet Admiral. I can't fucking do anything but fucking, you know, just watch and hear about it. Which is, you know, just hilarious seeing his point of views every once in a while because, you know, he a bitch. He a bitch. Let's just be honest. <laughs> He's strong as fuck and he plays a very good villain. I mean, he killed one of our most dearest characters. So uh, every time the screen cuts to him, it's like, oh, God, this fuck again. So who knows when we're going to see him actually in action again. You know what I'm saying? Like he's being the fleet admiral now. Like they don't really get into actual combat too often as... You know, it has to be something huge for him to be, like, taking the battlefield. So, who knows when the fuck that could happen or, you know, what situation would actually cause him to step forward and actually participate. But, uh, yeah, funny as usual seeing his reaction to, like, the crazy shit going on in the world. But, man, what a stunning episode. Absolute fucking gas, as usual. I mean, this weekend was stacked with Solo Leveling's episode yesterday and this One Piece episode today. I mean, One Piece did drop last night, so basically the same day for both, but I I always watch One Piece on Sundays, just because it drops late. Like, look how loud I'm getting. How much I'm fucking screaming and going crazy and just hype as fuck. I can't be doing this shit at 10 o'clock at night. Like, hell no, I live in an apartment. Like, I'm not trying to disturb my neighbors with my crazy ass that late at night. Like, who knows if they can really, you know, hear me, like, me going crazy when I do do these recordings and reactions during the day for that matter i mean they probably can't a little bit if they're home but you know i think our sound um you know suppression within the walls is pretty good like i don't ever really hear too much from my neighbors besides if they're like playing loud music every once in a while but that's always during the day right so that's why i just try to be respectful and get it done during the day and that's why i always do it sundays that way i can truly enjoy my experience and go as crazy as i want to and i knew i wanted to for this episode because this shit was hype as fuck god damn so yeah that's gonna do it for me another amazing episode and reaction for one piece god damn comment down below let me what you let me know what you guys think uh about this episode and how much y'all enjoyed it and how much you're excited for the fucking future episodes i mean this is this this is like i said bro this is still the beginning like, I, I told you i'm gonna fucking buckle up bro this shit is so good uh, don't forget to leave a like subscribe if you're new and hit that notification bell so you know the next one's dropping I'll see y'all in the next one. Y'all be good. Deuces.